In this role play, you will see a client whose pseudonym is Ingrid. Ingrid asked for a new session, one year after the termination of a psychotherapy of 25 sessions. In terms of her history, her father abused her, while at the same time he was respected by others for his high professional status. The family had to keep up appearances, even while Ingrid was being traumatized. During her therapy, Ingrid learned to manage her overwhelming emotions and frightening memories from the past. She found freedom and developed a new future. In this roleplay, we will illustrate how the theme of forgiveness is discovered by the client as a final step in her healing process. You can read more about Ingrid's case in section 9, where you can also learn about the different stages this client went through from the beginning to the end of a psychotherapy. Okay, Ingrid, what brings you back here one year after the termination of your psychotherapy? My father is terminally ill. He, he might die in the next few weeks. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel much emotion for him. Oh, so your father's imminent death doesn't evoke much emotions, but there seems to be something that you wanted to bring here in contact with me? Or? Mm, yeah, I feel somewhat insecure. How, how shall I feel after his passing away? Ah. Sh shall I feel bitterness? Shall I feel in indifference? Okay, you are wondering what you will feel after his death. And mm -hmm. yeah. you anticipate on bitterness. So maybe you, you can take some time now to feel what, what does it evoke your father's death. If you now take some time to ask inside, this whole situation of my father's imminent death, how does it touch you or what do you experience around this whole situation? Then I arrive at, I don't want to stay in hostility and bitterness okay. and waiting for him to die. Okay, the, there is this not wanting to stay in bitterness and just waiting for him to die, okay. Yes, yeah. as if I continue to poison myself, even, even now. Uh -huh. it's, it's no longer him who is causing my suffering. Okay, so that's something important that you experience. It's no longer mm -hmm. him who is causing your suffering, but this experience that you are poisoning yourself. So if you now listen carefully to that part of you that feels like you are poisoning yourself, what does it tell you? Then I think, stop this suffering. Mm. Stop being so cold to him and, and to yourself. Uh -huh. Re recover your warmth and, and your dignity. Ah, so to stop the suffering for yourself, it's important to recover your warmth and your dignity. Yes, ever since I finished my therapy a year ago, I developed a sense of my own goodness uh -huh. and, and that of others. Okay, okay. In the past few weeks, when I was visiting my father in the hospital, I couldn't remain open-hearted. Okay, okay, so that touches you, that you close your heart when you are visiting your father. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. And what do you experience when you are in the hospital with your father? You, you notice that you close your heart or...? Yeah, yes, I, I feel a tension. Ah, ah, okay, so... And if this tension had words, can, can you look what will come when you ask... What would 
this tension bring mm. if you listen to the tension? What does it need? What, what comes is like, why can't you forgive? Ah, so the tension has to do with the question around forgiveness. Hmm. And in what way could forgiving be helpful for you? It feels like releasing the pain I've carried in my heart for long enough. Okay, it's about releasing the pain in your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like... Letting go of the past and opening my heart to a new future. Okay, I see, I see. So maybe it's good to take your time to feel what it needs for you. That you can let go the past and mm -hmm. open up to a new future. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I also want to remember moments of kindness with him. Ah. I remember many ways he has harmed and, and hurt me, but I also want to have rem memories of experiencing his warmth. I see, I see. So letting go of the past and opening up to a new future has to do with remembering his warmth and his kindness mm -hmm. also, and not only the suffering from the past. I see. As if forgiving has more to do with offering myself warmth and kindness. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's a nice step here that you can experience how you can offer yourself that warmth and kindness mm -hmm. by remembering also these moments you had with your father. Yes. Some warmth and kindness. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So, before we finish, I think it's important we take some time and that you really ask inside. If you now think of the situation that your father will die very soon, are there some unfinished business or some issues we didn't address enough? So take your time mm -hmm. to sense whether you have this experience that this, that this issue of forgiving was really the core matter now, or are there other things? No, I made my choice not to perpetuate the coldness. I, I have a choice what attitude to take and I choose to remain open-hearted. Ah, so your choice to not perpetuate the coldness mm -hmm. and to savor the warmth, that will help you to stay open-hearted. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. So I really hope that when your father dies, you will feel peace mm. in these maybe difficult days. Mm. Thank you. <laughs>